we are done with the UI, put it into visuals. You can go in there and make another folder. But inside scripts, we can make a new script and call it login page. Um, Playfab, because we're going to use, to use Playfab. Let's open that one. Okay, so we are going to have a serialized field, text mess, uh, and because we want to reach the text mess pro, we have to say using TM pro like that. So let's try again. Text mess, text mesh pro, and this will be our top text uh, where the login text was, and we make another one. And we will call this our message text. And then we will make a header like that and call this login. And there we will make a serialized field and call it the uh, TMP uh, input field. It will be the email login input, and we will copy paste this one and make a new one that will be called password login input. That, and we will make a last one and call it game object login page. So we'll take all of this, copy and paste it in, change this one to register instead, change this to email, register input, password, uh, register, register input, and we also will need another one because we made the username, so username, register, input. And finally, we're going to have the register page like that. Great. Let's copy paste this one and make this recovery. And we will not need the username. We will need the email, but not the password. So let's change this to email recovery. And Change this to recover page. I think that will be all. So now we have all of this. So let's go back to the uh, game. Make a login system and add the login page. And we're going to add all of these. But first, because I forgot to add a text. We will add a UI text, put it down here, and this will be for our system message where we can say you logged in and stuff like that. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Like that. And put it in the middle. And also size. Great. Remove the text and make it green for now. Um, so we have to fill in all of these, so this will be rename uh, system text and we will put the system text in here, put the top text in here, then we have the login area, we have the email area and the email input here, we have the password input field and we have the entire login. Close it down. You can actually just take these in first, register page, and reset. Boom, the register page, and say I need the user input, the email register input, and the password register input. And finally, we're going to open this one and take the email recovery input. So for making all of this easier, we did all of the names properly. Let's open up this again, and down here we will we'll make a lot of functions, so public void, so one will be open 
login page. That will be one function. And we will have a function to open uh, open register page. And we will have a third one. It will be copyright open recovery page. This will be our functions to open each page. So when we want to open login page, we have to say login page that said active is true. But at the same time, if the register page is open, we want it to be false. And if the recovery page is also there, so we need to put that also to false so it won't open. And when there's the register page, we can just take these, put them all in. Now say this one is false and this one is true. And we can take them all again. And then we make this one false and this one true. So this is a simple way to put it up. You can put it up even more simple, but we're not going to do that. Because this is just uh, some code that we won't see much more to. So we're going to say hashtag region and call it the uh, bottom functions, bottom functions, like that. And down here below, we're going to do hashtag int region, like that. And that makes it possible for us to do like that. So now we have the button functions inside here. Let's hook up the button functions to the buttons so we can finish this. So at the login page, we have a new account button. So we add a function, put in the login system. Say, OK, if we click the new account button, what should happen? Well, what should happen should be open the register page. And if you click the I forgot password button, what should happen? Well, then we should open the recovery page. And if we just hide that, oh, sorry. And if we hide the login page for now and open the register instead, we have the register button which we won't do anything to right now because we will use it later, but to on the go back button, we will add the function to go to the login page. So login page, press that. And finally, we will take the go back button here. Just make it visible. Oh. I just make it visible, so close that, open that. Click on the button, add login system, and go to login page. Hide it all, open the login area, start the game. See what happened if I click new account, it will open this, and this one will close. And if I click this, so it works. But what about the login thing up here? Let's change that. So we have these button functions. So when it's login page, we want our top text, top text, that text to be equal to login. And if it's this one, we want it to be equal to register that. And if it's this one, we want it to be equal to recovery. Like that. So let's test it out again. So click play. New account, register, back, login, forgot, recovery. Great. So that works. So that was the first part. In the next part, we're actually going to do the login system.